is the third movie covering some of the features in the AR and Collections Manager. This movie is going to deal with the new functions that we've recently added that allow users to control writing off small remainder amounts. Most companies from time to time encounter the facts of life that their customers don't pay their invoices completely because of some kind of a dispute on part of the invoice. The, the reasons for these disputes may be that there was damage in shipping, they may be refusing to pay sales tax, they may be refusing, uh, refusing to uh, pay shipping charges, there may be a price discrepancy, there could be any number of different issues that come up that cause a uh, customer to not pay an invoice completely. This needs to show up in the AR and the exceptions manager as a uh, short paid invoice. Now the first person that finds that a an invoice has been paid short is usually the cash receipts clerk who posts the payment. So we're going to go through this process and see how this would run. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to department and we'll go to cash management and open up the cash receipts journal and we're in the bank account and we're on uh, Jan uh, March 15th of 2015 and we're going to uh, say that the document type is payment and the account type is customer and the account number is the Canon Group we received a check from them, and we're going to apply entries. So the Canon Group sent us a check, and the check was for uh, for the it's for uh, it's for this order. The check is for this order, uh, and uh, so we're going to highlight this line and set the the applies to ID, and we click OK. But they didn't pay $2,093.68. There was a $50 shipping charge that was on this. And, and they, uh, after uh, the cash, the, the posting clerk looks into what didn't get paid. They found that the amount was not $2,093, but rather $2,043. And the reason, and now we put the reason code on screen and not uh, reset the screen so that the reason code is next to the amount. The reason code, and uh, each customer will develop their own list of reasons why uh, invoices are short paid. So the reason code in this case is that uh, shipping charge is not paid. Okay, so we're going to post this, this uh, cash receipt. We post the journal. And now click OK and close that out. So now let's go back to debt collection and administration. Now remember, generate and update exceptions goes out through the entire database and looks for any changes, any pay, receipts that have been applied to invoices uh, or uh, payments that have been made or newly overdue invoices. So the first thing we want to do is generate and update exceptions to pick up that cash receipt that we just posted. So we're going to run this as of today, and it is now updated. And we go into the exception list, and we look at our exceptions. And we'll say, we'll notice that the Canon Group now has the document number X1234, and there's a remaining amount of $50, and the invoice was short paid. Any time that an invoice is uh, that the remaining amount of the invoice, this amount, the remaining amount is less than the original amount, then the program assumes that it was a short pay and it will be uh, a check mark will be entered in this field. Now, these fields will only appear if in setup, we're going to jump out of this for a second and go over to setup, debt collection setup. In debt collection setup, we have five fields that we've added recently. One is to allow write-offs. If you don't want your company to allow write-offs, then uncheck this and going back to the exception list, those fields, the, those three fields you saw, which included short pay, reason code, and, and uh, write-off, 
don't appear on screen. So if you decide that you don't want to use the write-off functions, then those fields will not even appear on screen. Let's go back and put them on and look at, at the setup for a second. So, uh, I'm sorry. Let's go back here and go to uh, Debt Collection Setup. So if we decide that we're going to allow it, then we want to specify the, the journal that where we want to post the, the, uh, uh, the write-off function. Because we're, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a write-off in the amount of the short pay uh, and automatically enter a journal entry so that it can be simply posted. So we want to do this in the cash receipts journal. In fact, you could choose any journal you want, but cash receipts makes the most sense. The batch name for write-offs, this is something that needs to be created on uh, during the setup routine, is you'll need to go in to the whichever journal you choose and create a batch called write-off. We're going to post the write-off with a reason code of write-off automatically so that these things can be tracked when looking at a payment history. And we also want to know the GL account to post this against uh, when we do make the, uh, the journal entry. So these, these items need to be set up if you're going to use uh, allow write-offs. So we go back to the exception list. And if we want, we can filter on just the, let's, uh, on uh, short pay. So we're going to filter on short pay. And short pay equals yes. So we want to see just the ones that have been marked for short pay, OK? So this one uh, was, was paid off recently and will disappear. So it says paid off and uh, below minimum amount. And that will drop off after three days. But now we have these four right here. So we make a decision. Two of them were damaged in shipping. Three of them were damaged in shipping. And one was uh, they refused to pay the shipping fee. So let's say that we want to write off this one and this one. And this one we're not going, these two we don't want to write off. So when we hit, click on the button that says write off, the program says the lines you have checked will be entered in the cash receipts journal batch write off for posting. Do you wish to continue? So we click yes, and it says the journal entries have been created. So now we escape out of there. Go back to cash management, go into the cash receipts journal, and then the person later on can open up the write-off journal and review the entries that have been made. And you can see they are ready for payment. The payment type is set. The document number is set. The amounts are set. The reason code follows through. And, uh, and they've already applied to the original documents. So when we post these entries, they now, the, the, uh, the invoices have been zeroed out. And if we go back to debt collection, administration, and we generate and update exceptions, and we go back in, we'll see that those exceptions have been written off. See, we, we left these two, but this one has been, uh, has been written off, and it has a zero remaining amount. And we, have, we had one that was zeroed. Now we have two more that are, that are zeroed out. So the remaining amount is zero. But we've decided that these two, for whatever reason, we're going to continue on with our collections effort. So these have been marked paid off. Uh, and so that's a huge time savings uh, that we've uh, now added to the AR and Collections Manager to be able to allow people to quickly and easily identify small remainder amounts create the journal entries, and write them off quickly. So we, we're proud to uh, say that, this, uh, that the, these new uh, uh, enhancements are available in all versions. We have the 
ARN Collections Manager available for NAV from NAV 4.0 SP3 through NAV 2013 R2, as you can see, because that's what we've been using here. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me, Bob Cole, at dynamicsnavaddons.com and Bob uh, Bob.cole at dynamicsnavaddons.com. And uh, I will be happy to go through this and answer any questions. Thank you very much. Thank you.